Penn State in today as well. Um, and if time allows, I may also try to throw in another prose breakdown for Cypro. Um, so anyway, this is about headstands. So you'll notice that I don't ever teach tripod headstand um, just because of the risk of compressing the vertebrae in the neck if it's done incorrectly. So I prefer the method of this variation for the headstand um, to where the shoulder girdle is very strong and there's actually no weight in the head. You'll see when I move into it, I'll be able to rotate my head because there's just no pressure being placed on the actual head itself. The strength is coming from the shoulders, but it's a great inversion. It's allowing blood to flow in the opposite direction. But with this one especially, I encourage you to build into it as opposed to kicking up into it. We want to establish the muscle memory. We want to build those muscles to support a healthy and strong headstand. So we'll get going. I'll demonstrate a couple of different directions so you can see clearly. I always start in dolphin pose. Well, I say always. I sometimes start to straddle too. But today, for today's purposes, we'll start in a dolphin pose. So we want the hands, elbows, and shoulders to be the same distance apart. We can double check this by wrapping the first knuckle around the elbow. If the elbows are too close, we'll get more than the first knuckle. If they're too far away, then the first knuckle won't wrap around. So first knuckle around the elbow, placing the hands back out, and interlacing the fingers here with the palms turned towards you. Curl the toes and lift the hips high. You can take that shoulder girdle away from the ears. It's a powerful shoulder girdle. And we'll begin to walk the feet towards the elbow, placing the back of the head into those open palms. From here, we'll activate the core, maybe lift one foot, start to stack the hips over the shoulders. If we're comfortable, then we'll come right here. This is the variation that I want to make sure that you explore before we press up into a full headstand. So when we're ready, we'll do just that, finding our headstand. Then we'll come out, stay in control. So, that was the side view. Get on. Get it from angle to where you can see my head. So there's no weight in my head. Again, we'll bring it in, bring it in, check, make sure everything's powerful. Then we'll press up from here. Okay, no weight in the head. So that is our headstand. Always move mindfully, enjoy the expression, enjoy the pose. Be stronger. Until next time, namaste.